Hey agents, it's LSD789 with another build video. I want to show you my D50 one-shot kill pistol build. It's perfect for this uh, global event to reanimate it. So let's go right into it. So for this build I'm using the gunner specialization, mainly for the armor on kill that you get. And also uh, when you stand still for a second, you get extra weapon handling, which makes your aim better with the pistol. So yeah, the gunner is really nice. You can also use a firewall for the health on kill, but I think gunner is more useful. Then for the main gun, we're using the D50 pistol with pistol damage and headshot damage. And this one comes with a determined talent. After killing an enemy with a headshot, the next headshot landed on, on an enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. So yeah, you, you just need to get one headshot. And after that first headshot, you can shoot him in the hand or in the feet and that counts as a headshot. And that does great damage. I also have a uh, headshot uh, damage mod and a minus optimal range mod on it. But yeah, just by doing a body shot, it counts as a headshot. And that's why we're going to do a lot of damage. And as a secondary, I have a model 700 replica marksman rifle. With marksman rifle damage, headshot damage and damage to out of cover. And it also has a determined talent. I don't really use this sniper rifle, but yeah, you can also use this one for far away enemies. And then also I put on a Scorpio, uh, mainly to slow enemies down, and uh, like if I get flanked I can pull out this Scorpio. But we're just mainly using the D50, and uh, yeah, this one's perfect. Then for the gear I'm using the Punch Drink uh, Mask from the Douglas and Harding. This one gives you 20% uh, pistol damage, uh, weapon handling, and uh, the special thing about this is you get another 20 headshot damage. And I put an armor regen uh, attribute and a headshot damage attribute and you can also change that armor regen to weapon handling but uh, we're gonna be close to the enemies anyway so you don't really need the extra accuracy and because we're gonna be close to the enemies I like the regen better yeah to keep you alive but yeah this punch ring is really good then I have a chain killer chest piece from the Walker and Harris Co this one comes with weapon damage uh, and then the core attributes weapon damage Armor regen and then two times headshot damage. Yeah, we're gonna stack as much as much uh, headshot damage as we can. This one comes with the perfect headhunter uh, talent. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit with within 30 seconds deals an additional 150 of that killing's blow damage. So yeah, if you make one headshot kill, it's gonna increase your next headshot. And the damage is capped at 800% of your weapon damage. This is raised uh, to 1250 if your headshot is uh, greater than 150. And uh, yes, the, our headshot damage is going to be more than 150, so we get that full boost of 1250. Uh, this, this chest piece is going to do a lot of damage. You can kill uh, named enemies with one shot easily. Yeah, this one's perfect. Then I have a uh, Providence Defense uh, holster with headshot damage. You can also use a wall. Uh, no, what's the name? The Hasburg, I don't have it on me. The Hasburg also has 15% headshot damage, but the Providence is easier to craft. Because this one already comes with a core attribute with weapon damage. Then I have armor regen and headshot damage. Then I'm using a Fox's Sprayers from the Overlord armaments. And this one comes with rifle damage, which is not important. But uh, also a weapon damage core attribute, damage to target out of cover, and a headshot damage attribute. Yeah, this will just uh, give you more damage overall. Then I'm using the contractor gloves from the Providence Defense with LMG damage. Again, the LMG damage is not important. But the core attribute is weapon damage. Um, the attributes are damage to armor and headshots. So this one again, together with the Fox's sprays, is going to do a lot of damage. And I'm also using a Memento backpack with weapon damage, armor and skill tier. And a headshot. Uh, damage attributes. This one comes with a kill confirmed talent. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on that. Collecting the trophy provides both a short and a long term buff. The first of which skills with the number of core attributes equipped and last 10 seconds. So the f uh, if you kill an enemy for a short term you get uh, 5 weapon damage, 10 bonus armor and 5 skill efficiency. That's only for 10 seconds per kill. And then for the long term, you get, for every trophy collected, gain 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1 armor regen. So this backpack is going to give you a lot of damage, 30% uh, weapon damage, if you max it out. 
and it's going to give you 3% armor regen. Again, that regen is going to keep you alive because, yeah, we're going to be close to enemies. And, yeah, you get great damage and survivability with this backpack. And also, yeah, it comes with an extra armor core, so you have more armor than normal. Yeah, momentum is really good for this build. Then I'm using a Bulwark uh, shield. It's the fridge door uh, shield, I like it, the big one. You have um, holstered regen and you can put shield health in and another shield health. So you have a lot of uh, health and regen on the shield. And with this big shield you can use a pistol, but we're mainly using the pistol, so why not use the big shield? It's perfect for this. Uh, and to keep you alive if you go down, you have a revive. This one has two charges thanks to the memento backpack that gives you a skill tier. So if a mate of you goes down, you can just drop it and afterwards you can use it yourself if you need it. Yeah, that's the full build. We're just gonna shoot with the pistol and we're doing a lot of damage. So yeah, let's go over the stats really quick. Uh, let's go to the pistol. Yeah, we're doing half a million damage. Uh, quick chance is not important. Yeah, we have 240 headshot damage thanks to all the attributes we have. Armor damage thanks to the contractor gloves. Uh, accuracy and stability. This is going to be higher when you stand still with the uh, with, uh, gunner. Then we have some pistol damage here. Kill confirmed and perfect headhunter. We have 1 million armor. 100,000 armor on kill. 14,000 armor regen. And this is going to be higher too because we have uh, the memento backpack that's going to give you 3% armor regen. So the regen is going to be even higher. Maximum health, 10% hazard protection. These are the shield uh, scales. And these are the hive scales. Yeah, that's the build. Hope you guys like it. I will put in some gameplay now of the build. If you have any questions about the build, feel free to ask. And yeah, LSD 789 out.
Supply room access unlocked. Priority is to neutralize Emmeline Shaw, but you'll need to get control of the monorail system in order to reach her. The main entrance will be well guarded, but it's the easiest way in, and they won't be expecting company. The monorail system is further into the park. Looks like the quickest route is through the deep sea exhibit. Intercepting enemy communications. Rainer, where are you? We just got to the aquarium. Fucking finally. Okay, they're probably coming right to you. We'll give them a nice, warm welcome.
detected. Pinpointing location. A repeater. The outcast must be using it to boost the range of their comms. Taking that equipment offline will make it harder for them to close it again. Try that repeater by overloading the power supply. Assistance needed. cut the range of their comms significantly. Keep going. You should be coming up on a monorail station soon. The control room will be overlooking it.
We're in position. Anybody seen anything? Hey, say again. I didn't get any of that. Anybody copy? Hello? Shit. Looks like you're right by that monorail station. The control room is just on the other side of the aviary. Should be the place. See if you can patch Isaac into the control board. Interfacing. Oh, yeah. 
hell. Guess they weren't taking any chances. But you're inside the barricades. You should be able to make it the rest of the way on foot.
see how the mama bear has watched us. She's making sure we aren't going to try to hurt her baby. That's what mothers do. Target deceased. What a fucking waste. Think of the good she could have done. The lives she could have saved. She was right, you know. Killing her won't end the outcasts. It might even make them more dangerous for a while. But without her to hold them together, they're gonna start to unravel.